Hi guys, welcome back. As you know, we unboxed um, this thing about um, a week ago, and now we're gonna do the full um, review of the um, Gato HD 60s capture card. And if you don't know what it's for, it's, for, it's good for live streaming games. Oh, by the way, guys, the um the capture card is also good for recording games. You can record at a high quality if you want. Oh, by the way, guys, stay tuned to the end of this video because we're gonna show you um how to set it up, and um we're also gonna show you how to get the best um um quality video for recording or live streaming. Okay, so we already unboxed this, and here is the capture card, obviously. Then over here, we have the. Um, HDMI wire and we also have the USB wire that you can hook up to your computer and the uh, system requirements um you need you need um for for the windows you need a uh, windows um 1064 um bit and for the um, mac you need mac os sierra or um higher then the gpu for the windows you need intel hd nvidia g GeForce GTX 600 or better and then on the Mac you need AMD NVIDIA then you need to get um, Intel i5 then um, you have to get quad core or better then uh, most importantly you need USB 3 or else um, it won't work so there's like no use of buying this if um, you don't have USB 3.0. I'm gonna hook up the wires and then I'm gonna show you um, the software and how to make the best stream possible. Okay, so over here we have um, HDMI um, in and then we have the USB over here. And then if you have some microphone, then you can plug it in um, right here. And then on the back, you have USB um, out. I mean, HDMI out. Okay, so here we have our HDMI wire. Um, it's hooked up to our Xbox and it's 25 feet because um, our computer is all the way over there and our Xbox is right here. So it's really um, far. So if we use um, that HDMI wire, like if we use this HDMI wire, it's going to be like so short. So and there in this platform and you can also use this for um for PlayStation and Nintendo Switch but in this case we're using it for Xbox One X and they also so let's um plug it in to the HDMI in Okay and now they have like a USB wire it's um right here let's plug that in as well and there you go, and now your HDMI wire. You can hook this up to your um, TV, but um, we're actually not gonna do that since we can just, we're not gonna use this actually because we're using iMac and then you can play on the iMac without um, looking at the actual TV. So you can just look at the iPad, iMac and then just play without looking at the actual um, gameplay on your TV. Okay, now let's go to the computer. So we bring the capture card over here, and the the reason we hooked um uh we wrapped around the HDMI wire around the chair is that it's because um maybe the Gato um capture card is gonna fall off, and it happened to us um before, but luckily it survived. But now um let's hook up this wire. Let's go all the way around it, and there you go. Before you can use the Elgato Game Capture, then you have to download the software um, to live stream and record. And in this case, you have to go um, to Safari, obviously, and you click that. Okay, so now um, you um, type Elgato.com, and it should say right here, Elgato.com. You click it, then um, you click Downloads. It says download um, version of 2.91 um, and um, rec yeah, Mac OS um, Sierra. Then you click this. Then you and then it's, it shows here. You see the arrow. Once it's done, it should say uh, arrow again. Then um, you click 
then you double click this. And it should say like something like this. Yeah, it should say something like this, but we're not gonna do that because we already have um, the app. So let's cancel that. Then you close all the windows. Then you, um, let's go to the game capture HD. Then once you're done, let's open it. And since your Xbox is not on, it's gonna say no signal, but once you um, put it on, you should have the screen. And guys, once I turn the Xbox on, it's gonna know um, when I turn the Xbox on. So once I turn this on. See, there you go guys. Now, on my screen, it's on the iMac. And you can actually play, I'm gonna show you. And guys, the cool thing is, there's absolutely no lag in this. See, once I move it, there's no lag. So if you're live streaming, there's almost gonna be like um, no lag. See, once I do this, it's actually doing it at the same time. So I can play the game um, without actually looking at the TV so I can live stream. And um, now we're gonna use a screen recorder so I can see more detail what's going on. Okay, so guys, you see over here where my um, where my mouse is. Here is a second. Um, there here is a second. You want to remove that you, because it is flashback recording. If you want flashback recording, you can leave it on, but it's gonna just gonna eat your gigabytes. Then you want to turn that off, and you, as you can see, it um turned off the flashback recording. So then you want to go to the settings where it says Elgato Game Capture. HD 60s. You click on that. Then it says Xbox One. Obviously, let's put Xbox One. You can put it on all of these platforms. And then once you're done, it's gonna say HDMI. And then after that, um, put it on um, HD 1080. Then if your um, computer is fast enough, um, put this on 60 frames per second because usually it's going to put on 30 frames per second, which um, 60 frames per second is a lot better. So if you have a fast computer, you should put that so we put it on. Then um, obviously you want, if um, you have a fast computer, you want this to put to the best quality settings and then click OK and then it saves all of that. Then you can adjust the game audio. We sometimes put it on minus 15 or minus 18. Then the bit rate, you want if the max out is eight megabytes um, per second. Then this is for my voice, minus two. And then once you're all done with this, so then if um, you want to add an account, then you click that. Then you can um, post your live stream to um, YouTube, Twitch, anything you want, even Facebook, but obviously we do it on um, YouTube. And then it sh obviously shows you this, then you have to log into your account, but we already did, so let's um, can cancel that. And then once you're done with everything, then you click this microphone, it says commentary, you click that. Okay, so once you're done with everything, then you can put the titles and then the description. Let's say um, Rocket League. And then once you're done with everything, and then guys, you can put then your um, camera, and these are like the social um, media links, and that's cool about it. That's the cool about the app. And uh, we usually um, do this camera. Cause it looks like a like a gaming camera, guys. And then um, if you if you want to add your mic, then you it says like activate um commentary. And that's to activate the mic. If you have to um add it, and um also then then if you click streaming, then you're streaming. But the um stream is gonna take like a delay for um a three seconds delay, not the gameplay. But we're, I'm gonna um, do um, play Rock League and record it for you guys so to see if it works. I actually pretty like this game. I saw a lot of YouTubers play it. I'm gonna try to do it 1v1 or yeah, maybe Rumble or something. 
let's just do it one view. And okay, we're searching for a match. Oh yeah, one, two, three, test. Two, four, three, test. Okay, so guys, now I'm gonna show you the clip and I don't know how my audio is gonna be because I can't hear it. I saw a lot of YouTubers play it. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it one day or Okay guys, so that's your clip. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. As you can see, um, the capture card uh, works really nice. It works um, very smooth. And also, if you have um, a PS4, then uh, you don't really uh, need the um, capture card because you can just live stream it directly. But other than that, for the Xbox um, One X, it's it's really um nice because um there's an other way to live stream, but this is the easiest way. And once you're like sign into YouTube, then you don't have to change anything else. And um guys um thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and see you next time for another video. Bye guys!